how to automatically share YouTube videos to Pinterest. In this video, I'm going to show you a really cool trick that will automatically share any YouTube videos you post to Pinterest for free. And if this video helps you, please consider giving it a like and also subscribe to my channel because that really helps me out. So some prerequisites to being able to do this. First, you need to have a Pinterest account. So make sure that you set up a Pinterest account and you can do it branded if you want to, but you don't have to. Then we need to go to make.com, which is going to be the automation tool we're going to be using for free to automatically have any new videos we post on YouTube pinned on Pinterest. Check the description. I do have an affiliate link to make.com so that you can try them out. If you do end up using any of their tools that cost money, I'll earn something on that. So you can go to make.com or you can use the link in the description. Select get started free and go ahead and create your account. All right, so once you get logged into make.com, go up into the top right, select create a new scenario, select the all apps section, and we're just going to search RSS. You should see RSS come up, select watch RSS feed items. So the way that make works is we're going to tell it to do something, look for a trigger, and that's going to be a new video posted to YouTube. And it's going to be watching an RSS feed of that YouTube channel. So it's basically just a feed of new content on that YouTube channel. Once there's a new YouTube video on the channel, it'll then take data from that feed and post it to Pinterest. And that'll include the video's title, thumbnail, and then the URL. And that'll all be posted to Pinterest as a pin. So for the URL for the RSS feed, I have the URL right here. This is the official uh, RSS feed for every YouTube channel here. All you need to do is put the channel ID of the YouTube channel. You can easily get this by going to youtube.com, then selecting the profile icon in the top right, and then selecting YouTube Studio. After channel in the URL, you'll see your channel ID, copy that, and then paste it at the end of the URL that's in the description of the video here so that you can get the RSS feed for your YouTube channel and go ahead and select save. Now here you can do from now on, but if you wanted to process all of the videos that are currently on there, which I think is worth doing, select all RSS feed items and then save. So now we have the RSS feed and now we need to add Pinterest. To do that, select the little plus button and then just look up Pinterest. And under here, you wanna select create a pin. So first we need to connect make.com to our Pinterest account. So select create a connection. You can give it a name, but you don't have to. I'm just gonna select save. It'll open up Pinterest in the uh, little window right here where all you need to do is either log into your Pinterest account or just give it access. So I'll give it access, give it some time to load, and then we'll see some of the information here where we need to enter in what we want from the RSS feed so that it can post it to Pinterest. So under media source at the top, the source type, select that and do image URL. Then select image URL. So in this list here for the image URL, we need to go under and find the fields where it says RSS fields and find media colon group. Select the drop down, then find media colon thumbnail, select the drop down there, and then properties. And you just want to drag the URL for that image into the properties. So you should have RSS fields, media colon group, media colon thumbnail, properties, URL. Now for the board, if you already have a board created, you can select it, but if not, just go back to Pinterest select your user profile and select create a board, give it a name, select create. And then when we go back here, you can select the little refresh button. It'll look for your account and it'll find the board. If you have sections, you can add that. Now the next thing that we need to do is the title. This one's easier, select title, then go up into the RSS feed and drag the title into the section. After that, go down to link. And all we need to do is select the URL directly below author, select URL and drag that in. And now basically you're done. You can add the description of your video if you want to. I have a lot of other stuff in my description that I don't want posted to Pinterest. So really you're kind of good. It's gonna post the title of your video with the thumbnail image from your video and link to your video. Go ahead and select save. And then now we can select this by selecting run once. It'll test it and try to run it. You should see a one over each of these. We can even select into them and see the information. But if I go back to Pinterest after running it and refresh, you'll see the post that was just made under my board right here, where if I visit it, it opens up the YouTube video. So if it worked for you, then you're good. If not, check the description. I'll have all the different values that you should put into each field. But all you need to do to automate it, select every 15 minutes, 
And depending on your intervals for actually posting videos on YouTube, you can select irregular intervals of every 20 minutes, every several hours, or you can do it once a day, once a week, something like that. Once you set that up, I'm gonna do every day. At this time, select Activate Scenario. Then all we need to do is go down on the bottom here, select Save. And now, and go in the left menu, select Scenarios. You'll see your scenario there, and you can see that it's active. If we select the Home button for Organizations, you'll see the amount of data that is used, so you can keep track of how often it's running, but you can just go to Pinterest and see the pins start stacking up. And as you post videos on YouTube, you'll then have a pin posted for your YouTube video. If this video helped you, give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing to my channel.